Welcome to the School of Marvelous Light, little flock. The dragon was cast out of heaven and his angels with him. They were cast out of the air, out of the spiritual realm. And they were cast to the earth. They were cast into the water. They were cast into the water. into the flesh, into the 3D realm. I want to tell you, little flock, not to fret, not to fear. Remember, our Father, we, He warned us many times, fear not. Fear not for those things that shall come upon the earth, for I shall keep you from, the, from them, from the hour of temptation that shall try them that dwell upon the earth. Cast into the water, from the air into the water, and us being brought out of the water into the air. Do you see? And us being usurpers. You see? Yaakoba. Into Israel. Yaakoba means usurper. Supplanter. Is what Jacob means. Supplanter. And so we as Jacob. Children of Jacob. We have received mercy from our father. To rise back into the air from where we came. And from that for that dragon. To be cast back into the abyss. From whence he came. You see. Fear not. Up out. Of the bottomless pit. From the bottom of the ocean. The ocean is not filled with water. Out of the bottomless pit. Ascendeth up. Ascendeth up. You see, these things be revealed in us so that beast that ascendeth up out of the bottomless pit, out of the water. Now this is how it's going to work. When that woman births out that first child out of the bottomless pit, the womb is never filled with the seed. When that beast ascend out of that pit, Abba will take that beast and he will dash that baby against a stone and cast his body into the fire and he will receive his elect son. So the wound, the deadly head wound, when Abba smashes that serpent, and cast him into everlasting fire. Do you see? So, our baptism of fire is our ascension out of the water, through the fire, into the air. Do you see? Anything that comes out of that water must pass through fire. To enter back in to the spiritual realm. Or as Abba said, there is a cherub there with a flaming sword blocking the way. Don't you see? And the only way you can enter back in is to be baptized in fire. See? From the watery grave of the watery grave of baptism, see? Through fire. He who comes after me baptizes you with fire. And his fan is in his hand. You see? That anointed messenger. Nazarite. Nazar. Truth. You see? So now. 
our birth is upon us. To be birthed back into the air. Now remember, you were fighting against principalities that were up there trying to keep you from your place. Just as it is written about Esau and Jacob, Esau know that he had a short time before he would eventually have to fulfill the words of his father, which were that your brother will rule over you. He will be higher than you are. If you are in the air, you are indeed higher than whatever is in the water. You see? The prince of the power of the air. You see? So those who follow the adversary are enlightened by the adversary in their world. Being birthed first, do you see? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the world that followeth it. So Esau controlled the air, which is what you see you in your own 3D life. You say the airwaves, the beast. That's how he created his system was with the airwaves. What you saw and what you heard. And he spoke from a place of air where he could see and hear clearly. He knew you couldn't see and hear clearly in that darkness, in that gloom. So he brought you false light, a false promise of life, a lie. And what are the wages? Okay. So we who are called to this everlasting life are called up out of this water of not being able to see, hear, do correctly because you can't do any of that underwater. And you'll only be there for a short time. The days of a man are short. Before you are translated into a new thing just as a child in its mother's womb. Now this baptism of fire, understand this. What is it called when the crown of that head crowns that opening of the womb? What is that called? Is it not called the ring of fire? Now, is there going to be an uh, eclipse before the great day? Before the birthing of this child? Indeed. Why? Because the crowd, the child is crowning he is coronaing you see ring of fire and during the ring of fire the mother has no control over what's happening at this point she is at the will of the father of creation he must bring her and that child through that ring of fire and he indeed shall, because his arm stretched forth is mighty to save. So like I said, coming out of the Pisces into the Aquarius, well, what does that mean? Out of the water into the air. We shall rise to meet him in the air. I shall make you fishers of men. Doesn't it make sense now? If everyone is living in water, and Yahusha has called you out of the world of water into the air. And then he says, I, I send you, see, send you. So you're swimmers. Now you swim back into the water looking for lost sheep. So that you can direct them back to the way. And when you come back up, he reaches his hand down and pulls you guys back up. And you have now bore fruit. And how you're doing that is talking to your brother, baptizing him in the fire as you lift him back. Fishers of men. See, just like your master did you. You have learned to be a fisherman. You get it? And now the time of being a fisherman 
has come to an end. If it wasn't, he wouldn't have said, close the ark door. That means the woman's about to give birth to the new child, which is you. You're about to be lifted into the air <laughs> to meet him. Your bride, groom, is waiting for you. And he is going to snatch you out of the water into the air to meet him. And there you will be with him forevermore. It's written already. <laughs> it's written because you have usurped by inheritance, Jacob, into being Israel, the spiritual man that you were all along. You remember now. Do you remember who you are? Because you can see clearly and hear clearly. Remember when he said when he was in the teaching in the water, he said, He who have eyes to see, let him see. He who have ears to hear, ear, hear ears to hear, let him hear. You see? So his sheep know his voice, he said. So while they're under the water, they're able to hear his voice come through clearly. It doesn't matter where they are, how far they've gone astray in that water, in that ocean. Even if they're down at the bottom, it doesn't matter. He will come down and get all the way down to the depths where there is no light and shine light down there to you and receive you up to his bosom. It's just the way it is. Love will do that. Love will find a way, my brother, and it will conquer all obstacles that are in its path of saving. It will overcome all its obstacles in order to save. <laughs> it is mighty to save. So, now that we understand where we had been, which is in that ocean, living, drowning, dying. You can only live under the ocean for so long before you drown. You suffocate. You can't breathe. See? Now, you swimming in that water, if you notice in the ocean, at the depths of the ocean, it's very dark. Where there's hardly any light at all. And as you come up, you'll start to notice that the water will change. And slowly but surely, the light will start to shine in the darkness as you come up out of the dark. Just like a baby coming out of a womb. At first, a dark as heck. There's no light at all. But then eventually, as they move up through the canal, they start to see the light. And they follow the light. That's happening to you. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how dark you were, how deep down in the darkness you were, as you come up. From hearing the shepherd's voice call you back, the light starts to become brighter, 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 brighter until you reach the surface and he pulls you on up until you're standing on your feet on top like he is. That's what he's done for me. So I have no doubts that he can do it for you. I have no doubts that he has done it for you, actually. So, we stand here <clears throat> on top of the water, ready to be caught up into the air when he rises. And he's not going to rise until all his sheep are in the fold. Every one of them. You hear what I'm saying? So now does it make sense why all you were hearing about the barn doors being closed, Sister Celestial, my video about the ark door being closed, which is the exact same thing. Now do you understand why? That must mean that all the sheep are back. And there was one last little sheep that just got snatched back up out of the water into the air recently. Oh boy. So, I can only assume that that means that all of the sheep are in the sheepfold and now we're ready to 
fly high. We're standing on the water, and Yahusha's about to fly down and pull us up into the air where he is. Ah, boy. Now remember, on the surface of the water is some fire. Why? Because that's the ring of fire that you have to pass through after you come out of the water, which the baby does when it passes its head through that canal. See? Now it's a new creation because it's not going to breathe water anymore. It has lungs that have formed that are asking for air now. It has a new stomach that's formed for as asking for new milk now. Spiritual milk. It has a new heart that's formed that's asking for love now and no longer fear. <laughs> there's a new heart in there that's called, I mean, there's a new mouth on that vessel that's calling out for Abba and no longer the Lord. That's calling out for husband and no longer just Jesus Christ. If he's my bridegroom, then shouldn't I be calling him my husband? Now, is it written that they shall no longer call me the Lord, but they shall call me Ishi or husband? They shall no longer call me Ba'ali or the Lord? I'm just on this water here, moonwalking with my friends, waiting for my bridegroom. So he can scoop me up in the sky and I can do my dance along with my friends. And we gon' let out a big old shout. And we gon' let out a big old shout. Oh yeah. You see? That's we gon' do. We gon' let out a big old shout. They have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. <laughs> you see? The accuser of the brethren is cast down. He can't accuse us because he's in water. He can't talk anymore. His words are like this now to us. We're like, you're no longer a scary red dragon. You're nothing but a red, stupid, stinking turkey. Now get on that table for Thanksgiving. <laughs> first, 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 get in that oven, get cooked. And then get on that table for Thanksgiving. Isn't that what it says we're going to do with Leviathan? Oh my gosh. I said, oh my gosh. Don't it say we're going to feast upon that turkey? And it's going to be delicious? Alrighty then. So I ain't lied to y'all about nothing. It's called the marriage feast. And we going to feed on that dragon that got turned into a turkey. Because he, he was first he was talking with great blasphemies. I am God up here talking. Don't listen to that Yahusha guy. He's not telling you anything worth value. I'm God and none else. Listen to me. Yavoveoth, sit your dragon, fire, stankin' breath, breathing ass down and turn into that turkey. Okay? So we can eat you up. Thank you. Thanksgiving. See? We're going to have real Thanksgiving. Y'all see how that's working? Y'all see how it's working? I'm not lying to you about nothing. He was talking all, but yes, listen to me now. Listen to me. When was he doing that? When we got caught up out of the water and we were waiting on top of it for Yahusha to come. And then he came. Yes, 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 yes. Listen to me. No, no, no. But see, he was he was talking so clear to us because we were in the air where he was at. But he got cast out of the air, booted out, plinkety pow, destroyed by the coming of our true voice that speaks to us, Yahusha. And he got kicked out of there, threw into some fire, and got cooked up into a nice little turkey for us to devour. <laughs> you get what you are, okay? You get. In other words, let me say it like this. You reap what you sow. That's a better way to say it. So this nigga been sowing devouring. So he's going to get devoured up. <clears throat> ah, delicioso. What, uh, I'm the map. 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 He hopped into the backpack. <clears throat> yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. Yep. Yes, indeedy. He thought he had a microphone up there that was worth something. But as soon as he got tossed into that, that water down there, the microphone starts sounding like this. First of all, the electricity went out. 
from the microphone. <laughs> uh oh. So he couldn't talk no more on the airwaves. He was like, wait a minute. That's what I've been using to deceive people. I can't do that anymore. Okay. What am I going to do? I'll just lie and say, don't listen to that other voice. See? Don't listen to that other voice. I'll just lie and say that. Well, that ain't going to work. Ah! Okay. <laughs> um, what else can I do? I'll just start devouring. Okay, well, like I said, as you have done, so shall it be unto you. So I was working, children. So he's cast out, and then that beast going to come up out the bottomless pit which is the bottom of that water. And he's going to deceive those who are in the water trying to get to the surface. He's going to start talking to them and they're going to turn and go toward him. Oh, boy. And Abba has made that that way because he doesn't want those. And that's just the way it is. He's made vessels fitted for destruction and vessels fitted for mercy. If you're on top of the water, then you're a vessel fitted for mercy, and that's why you're getting these beautiful downloads that you've been receiving here at the School of Marvelous Light, where we stand on top of the waves. The School of Marvelous Light, where it truly is very bright, where the children here have no fright. <laughs> we never experience blight. We don't know what it means to be in plight. <laughs> <laughs> we have perfect sight oh man on this hidden manna I love to bite <laughs> Yahusha's words we constantly recite <laughs> if you would like to be here with us we would gladly invite <laughs> we're full of joy and happiness don't have time for no spite <laughs> oh man y'all hear me today it's beautiful up here man so we standing up here on zion ah outside of that water and we're just gonna watch and eat our popcorn okay <laughs> see the warm little flock y'all be blessed today and be joyous for standing on top of this water and now no longer in it but being free today <sighs> see the